In the past, I've tried hard shell sand crabs and they were okay, but I've never tried soft shell sand crabs. So that's what this video is about today. If you don't know what sand crabs or sand fleas are, let me show you real quick what they are. So you can find these all over the beach. They're very common. They look just like this. Obviously that's just the shell of them. Now the bad thing about uh, sand crabs at all that I've heard about is that they contain parasites. So if you do eat one, you wouldn't want to eat it raw. But in my whole life of being on this earth, I've never heard of anybody eating a sand crab raw, let alone eating it at all. But if you do, just make sure you cook it. So I've got a homemade net that I've got to get these sand crabs. Usually I use this net to get stripers, perch and all that. But anyway, I want to keep this short and sweet, so I'm going to go get some soft shell sand crabs and put them in my pan. I've got lots of butter. I'm ready to eat them. You got to really wait for the water to come out. You put the net down like that, and with your feet, you just kick up any sand. And if there's any sand crabs there, as the water goes out, they should accumulate in your net. And let's see what I got here. Got a few. Oh wow, this is a nice one. Actually, wow, this would be amazing bait. This would be amazing bait right here. That's a beautiful soft shell sand crab. Wow. Oh, I wish I had my puller with me to get some stripers right now. Jeez, that's a nice one. Here we go. Oh, I bet I'm gonna get a bunch in this one. The water's going out faster. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, oh my God. Nice, this one's, this one's gonna be fun to taste. This one's soft shell and it's got eggs. Put that in my pocket. I'll keep a couple hard ones too, actually, just to compare. Let's just keep an eye out. Oh, here comes one right here. Probably catch him. No. Look at all these, these are all sand crabs right here. Wow. Oh look, here's one floating. Here's another one. There's one right there. Man, this is making me really miss striper fishing. Look at all these. Oh my God, look at that one. I've never seen a soft shell that big. Oh my God. That's the payload right there. For any fishermen out there that want to come out here, catch stripers, catch perch, and have this amazing bait, soft shell sand crabs, they're out here right now. I don't know if it's the time of the season, but the hard ones have molted and there are a ton of soft shell sand crabs right now. So this is what a sand flea sand crab looks like. And this one is soft. You can tell how, see the shell moving a little bit. That means that his hard shell has molted and this is a soft shell. So you should be able to just bite the whole thing. It's not even going to be crunchy. It's just going to be like a soft shell crab. That's what I'm hoping. So I don't know if you could tell, but this side is not the head. Normally I would think that would be right but it's not this side is the head and if you look closely you can see eyes there but on the bottom here they have this little shovel and they use that to dig down into the sand but since this is a soft shell it's really soft so it doesn't have the power to dig down like it normally would honestly I think these are going to taste amazing so this is what I've got right now I've got about four or five soft shell sand crabs two or three hard shell ones just to compare. So I've got my pan right now. I'm gonna heat it up and put some butter in there. All right, still looking nice, live, ready to go. So the plan is, let's just light this up first. All right, it's lit. And now I wanna melt down the butter and I don't wanna cook the sand crabs in it with them. So I'm just gonna hold them for now. And with my butter, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out. Jeez. Okay, perfect. I really think the soft shell ones are gonna be 10 times better than the hard shell ones. There's a little bit of sand that was left in these sand crabs, but whatever, a little sand never hurt, right? So I'm just gonna drop these guys in here and it shouldn't take them more than two or three minutes to cook. This butter is hot. I can see it's almost boiling right now. So here we go. You can see they're starting to turn red, just like a crab would. So that's how they look right now. They're all upside down, but let me see if I can flip some over. Look at that. Oh my God, that looks kind of cool. That's a soft shell one. It's another soft shell one. Wow, look at that bright orange. Holy moly. <laughs> look at that. That is pretty cool right there. So one thing I do want to make sure of is that they're cooked thoroughly because if they're not, they do have parasites in. 
I would not want to get one of them. All right, I think they've cooked long enough. Well, I don't know about this, but whatever. It is the moment of truth. I'm gonna start off with a hard shell one. Here we go. Hard shell sand crab. Hope I cooked it all the way. Oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. I don't like that one. Oh, it's not good. <coughs> oh, oh man. I gotta apologize to these sand crabs. I think I might have ticked their life for nothing. All right, hard shell, no go. Soft shell, see if it's any better. Nope, still bad. Oh man. <coughs> I'll just eat it just for you guys. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Ugh, that's gross. Ugh. Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. <coughs> well then. Yeah. No sand crabs for me on my dinner plate. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I need to go home and get some water. Ugh. It tastes really fishy. Oh, it's like ugh, the guts or something. All right, ugh, that's it. I'm glad I did it. No regrets, but never again. <laughs>